Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today we have another floss tube update and I'm really excited to be here with you all. It's been far too long. <laughs> In my last video we did a whip parade of all of the, like a mid-year whip parade of everything that I have worked on this year and just to catch you up on where all my whips are at. Uh, but today, today's just a regular floss tube update, so I'm going to try not to rush things. I just want to share with you what I've been working on and what I've been excited about in the past month and some. <laughs> so please get a drink and let's get into it. So it has been a little while since I have been here. A lot has happened, um, but yeah, like I said, really excited. And a lot of you watched my last video. Thank you all so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I got 65 comments that had the word burb in it, uh, which <laughs> I'm, I'm honored. So we had a little giveaway last, last video and I asked you to use the word burb and to make sure that you filled in the happy mail form so that I could contact you if you won. And out of those 65 people, Maria Mannion is the winner. Congratulations, Maria. I've gone ahead and sent you an email, so please check it and check your spam folder if you don't see it, uh, because, you know, when I say congratulations and stuff like that, sometimes emails will um, get filtered out. And if you believe <laughs> that you may have won something, if you've entered in to win something on my uh, channel, please check your spam folder for Rachel Raycraft because there are some unclaimed prizes still. All right, before we get into cross stitch, I'd like to update you on my knitting because there's been a lot of knitting going on lately. And uh, the first thing I had just told you about was the hashtag Summer Sorrel Escal that I'm hosting. It's just a little knit with me kind of uh, group. <laughs> I'm hosting this over on Instagram. It's not affiliated with anybody, but basically if you start this project with me, then, uh, and you post it to Instagram with the hashtag, at the end of December, I will be drawing uh, one of those people who uses the hashtag, who's starting the project and knitting along with me. Uh, I will pick one of you and give you a free pattern of your choice. So this is the Summer Sorrel Tea by Woolen Pine. And I am using yarn from Curio Stitches. This is called Yennefer. This was a club uh a club yarn from the witcher's collection and it is gorgeous look at all of those beautiful colors this is a merino nylon high twist fingering weight that is 85 percent superwash merino and 15 percent nylon absolutely stunning I, I i love it so much and i have since the last video show you from the outside. I have split for the sleeves. <laughs> so these are the sleeves on the side and they are connected now. Uh, and this, it just looks so gorgeous. So if I br bring it in close, hopefully you can see the detail of the kind of pine needles which is fitting because the designer is wool and pine. So yes, this is where we are at. Uh, in the pattern, all I need to do is knit the body and then I'll go back to the sleeves. I have two skeins left, uh, plus what I'm working with right now that I showed you. And so we will see how long these sleeves will be. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it is, it is gorgeous. It is really fun to knit as well. And I found out a few tricks on my um, Adobe Acrobat PDF app on my phone. And I've learned how to make notes and things like that. So that actually helped me a lot with remembering where I am, et cetera, et cetera. But now it's just easy and it's knit, 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 knit. So all the hard things are done on that project. I am keeping this in my bag 
from Kaylee Crossstitch, who is uh, the sewing shop.ca in Canada. And I also used this bag when I was on vacation to Tenerife, and that was really fun. So I love this bag, and it has this really cute zipper pull. So if you are in Canada and you want to have a really super cute bag, I highly recommend the sewing shop. Her bags are so pretty. I love the fabric. So that is my main whip, but I also started another project. So you may remember, uh, I don't know if I talked about it in the last video. I did, I did. Wild Cottage Knitting, yes, Wild Cottage Knitting uh, is another podcaster here on YouTube and she is doing an event called the Merry Mini Mal and I signed up and I knew exactly what project I wanted to use and that is the Adventuresome Wrap by Amba O'Brien and I've seen this project finish and it's absolutely amazing. I'm doing a rainbow fade So you can see it. Isn't that beautiful? So once it's blocked out, this is going to be wavy. I can't keep my thumb there for some reason. <laughs> but it's super gorgeous and it's not too big. Like, you know, it's not, it's a, I think it's six repeat. How many stitch markers do I have? Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven repeat of the little pattern. So it goes really fast when you start it. I am using the 2021 uh, Ruby and Roses Advent Calendar Set, which is very pink heavy. So I was talking because I stream on Twitch. I don't know if you've joined Twitch or not. There's a lot of people over there that do knitting, crochet, uh, they do cross stitch and diamond painting, just like me. So I'm over there every Tuesday and Thursday. You can catch me there if you'd like to um, to see me working live and ask me questions and things like that in person. Uh, in person. <laughs> but this is the calendar and stunning colors. You know, I, I love Ruby and Roses. It's gorgeous, but it's very pink heavy. So I'm thinking about taking a couple of those pinks off. And if the length isn't too long already, I might go backwards in the rainbow uh, and have like a, a double rainbow of a wrap. The main color, or I guess you could call it the offset color, is just a pure black. This is from Mothy and the Squid. I really like their yarn as well. And it is a similar weight. Uh, this is a 75% merino, 25% nylon, so like a sock yarn, and it's called Midnight. Uh, they are in the UK, and Ruby and Roses is in the United States. So, international wrap. But yes, this is a really fun project. Uh, I am going to be working on it more once I get this summer sorrel done. Uh, I haven't been working on it too terribly much because that is my main focus, but the end of the event that Susan is doing, uh, that is going to be in January. So I would like to be working on this as a main project soon, <laughs> but I have not completely abandoned my other projects. I do have other knitting projects that I'd like to do but they are on the back burner for now. So let's talk about my, my main work in progress for the past few weeks was once I said it, once we were talking, you know, I was sitting down with you and we were talking about, uh, you know, projects and going through all of those works in progress, I realized I still really, really love this one. This is Miss Cherry Blossom by Mirabilia. And I really worked hard on her. Um, before, I did not have the parasol done at all, and I did not have any of the dress done. So, as you can see, show you up close.
I love the shading that's going on in her dress. It's incredible. It looks 3D. So all of the stitches, all the cross stitches are done for the parasol. Any of the holes that you might see are there for beading. Her face is not yet done. I decided I wanted like a break from the top, so that's why I came down here and I'm so glad that I did. I think I spent probably, probably like 10 or 12 days straight on this project before I was like, okay, I think I can resurface for air now, but literally every day I was working on this. I completely dropped the sweater, I dropped everything, I was just obsessed. So this one is going really, really well. This was a gift from Linda's 144 Hobbies, and I love her. She is so, so sweet. I did a couple of other projects as well. Um, I, I have a new start, but before I show you the new start, I'll show you my whip, my whip for, uh, what is it called? I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> For Dark 13. I think that there were two Dark 13s since the last time that I checked in with you and I'm just taking this off the little hoop. They're gonna be hoop marks. Um, I thought I would have worked on this a little bit more but you know how life goes sometimes. Things got busy. So please excuse the very obvious hoop mark here but this is Trick or Treat by The Drawn Thread. I did The Ghost. Or at least I did most of The Ghost. Um, I, I did not, the bug did not hit <laughs> for this one, but it is gorgeous. On this one, I didn't really give any stats, did I, on the last one? but it's the same. This is the called for fabric. This is dirty Belfast linen uh, and I'm using a weak dye work con conversion. I got that before all of the things, but that's what I'm doing. Um, the only thing that I've done so far on this one that's a little bit <laughs> weird is that I forgot that it was one over one or one over two, excuse me, and I, I did the moon as two over two. So it really is fluffy there. The rest of it is one over two to give it kind of a prim vibe. Primitive. I don't think that I've done much other stitching this month, um, but I did have a new start. So I got very excited when I heard that Bella Filipina was gonna do their first ever stitch along and it's called The Mermaids of the Seasons Sal. That dropped on September 15th. I'm not as far along as I'd like to be, but then again, I've been really happy with what I have been able to craft lately, so I'm not gonna complain. But, ooh, that's a needle. Hold it. <laughs> this is still on the Q-snap because I am still stitching it. So this, you can't, you can very barely see that um, outline. So I'll show you the top. The fabric that I'm using is by Bee Stitch Me. This is a 28 count linen in called, it's called It's a Mystery. I'm using all the called for colors. And so far I've done the entire gray border and now I'm working on the Krynik border. It's a little monotonous, but I told myself that if I don't do the border first and I skip ahead and go to the mermaid, I'm not going to want to do the border, right? So <laughs> we're going to struggle through the border first and then get to the, the fun part. Um, this is really beautiful to stitch on. I don't like Krynik, but it's more manageable with 28 count. Um, and yeah, I just, I, I love it. It's beautiful. It's, um, it's very moody, isn't it? But this is, this is my current stitch along project. 
And like last time, I talked about like all of my, my whips and everything. Um, I haven't been feeling a cross-stitch bug lately. Um, there was a couple of weeks there where it was so hot that I didn't, I didn't want to stitch or knit. I got really into a game <laughs> instead. It's called Palia. <laughs> But anyway, um, I have picked up an audiobook lately. It's called The Priory and the Orange Tree. And I've been listening to that while I've been crafting and it's been lovely, kind of a nice little escape. <laughs> um, other than that, what I'm doing right now is I'm getting ready to travel. And I have decided that I'm just going to take my sweater with me. That way I will finish it faster. I will have to focus on it because it's the only thing that I have. I've decided on that because sometimes it can be really hard for me personally to, to you know, if I choose one of each craft, then I won't really have any time to focus. My brain will just be like, oh, what should I do today? And then I'll get overwhelmed. So one project it is, I'm leaving and going for two weeks and, you know, hopefully, I'll have a nearly finished sweater by the time I update you again. As far as purchases go, I did actually get, is it within reach? It is not within reach, but I did receive my Asylum Fibers Halloween Fade calendar. I'm very excited about this because I am leaving and I won't be back for the start of Vlogoween. Um, I'm, I'm considering what I should do. Should I film some days ahead? Or what should I do? How would you like it? Are you overwhelmed with Vlogoween videos, daily videos? Or do you like the daily videos? Please let me know. I will not be taking the calendar with me because I have enough that I need to bring back from, from home. But, uh, it is here. <laughs> it is safe. And I'm very excited to open it because I've seen other people that I watch open yarn calendars from Asylum Fibers. And they're, they're amazing. They're beautiful. At the moment on their website, they do have other calendars available. And I think they're for the holiday season. So if you want to check it out, I don't know if they have any more Halloween sets left but they might have something else that you're looking for. I also have a, this is way in the future, but I do have a um, yarn advent kind of calendar set coming to me from the Fiber Fox that's located in the UK. And I'm super excited to share that with you. Um, it's gonna be absolutely stunning. Uh, in the next couple weeks, in about uh, around mid, yeah, mid October, I'm going to be having a Twitch stream, and I will be fully finishing some cross stitch into my cross stitch journal. I don't know if you've seen this before, and I'm not sure if I've actually given you a tour of my journal before, but I got this journal a couple of years ago when. It was a collaboration between the Twisted Rabbit and Michelle Bendy Stitchy. Um, in fact, I still have in the front here, this is the piece that goes on the front of the journal. You can see it there. So um, we'll be finishing a couple of pages in the journal and just to show you my little festive a little festive Halloween page and the best thing about it is that it lights up. <laughs> I love it. So please join us. Um, my username on Twitch is Rachel Ray Craft, just like the main channel here on YouTube. Um, and also you can find me on Instagram at Rachel Ray Official and Facebook at Rachel Ray FB. I know there's lots of different names and uh, there's a whole story there about Meta kicking me out of my old account and having to start over and rebrand. And I couldn't rebrand on everything. Rachel Ray Official on Facebook is somebody completely else. So 
they got it before I did. <laughs> Is there anything else that I wanted to share with you? What else did I purchase? I made a couple of other purchases. There were stitch magazines and things like that. I've been trying my best to share those things in my stories on Instagram. So if you're looking for recommendations, as they come up on my feed, I'll repost them and share them with you all. Uh, but I'll just quickly check my little notepad here and make sure, oh, that's what it was. Forbidden Fiber Co. made an elemental box. And I heard about it because my friend Michelle actually designed something for the box. Uh, she's a cross-stitch designer. So I went ahead and checked. And yes, there were boxes left. So I purchased one. That was weeks ago. I'm not sure if they're still available or not. But if you go to Fiber Fox, or not Fiber Fox, ForbiddenFiberCo.com, uh, or type it into Google, uh, you'll you'll find that on the website, and hopefully there's still some left. I am a water sign myself. I'm a Pisces, so I went ahead and I, I made that purchase pretty quickly. And uh, do 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 do. Is there any news other than? I'd like to take a moment just to give a little PSA because this is not a, a long update, but I think it should be said. Uh, earlier on, uh, there was a post in the Autumn Lane Stitchery Facebook group. Apparently their designs had been purchased and then re-uploaded on AliExpress. And I don't know if you know this, but AliExpress does not design cross-stitch. They are a, a seller of factory goods, basically. So someone has purchased the PDF, ripped it, and now they're reselling it like crazy. And of course, they're gonna be cheaper than the designer. Please do not buy from websites like AliExpress. Please make an effort to purchase directly from the designer. A lot of designers, they have to make a month, they have to make a living. You know, they have bills to pay and mouths to feed as well. Um, so I understand that, you know, some of us fall in hard times and it can be difficult to pay for frivolous things, but I beg you, for the designer's sake, please shop carefully and with, you know, some understanding of why things are the way they are. Um, we could have a whole discussion on this. I'm sure that I'm preaching to the choir here, but it is very disheartening to designers to see all of their hard work going and making a pro someone else making a profit off of all of the work that they've done. In fact, there's been several designers that stopped designing altogether. Some of our favorite big names uh, who decided to stop because they were getting ripped off. So please don't do that. Do not share PDFs with other people. People should buy their own cross stitch. Now, I won't go any further than that. You can do what you need to do, but I, I implore you, please, please support your designers. There's the ones that's making really good cross stitch. And I think with that, I I think that's it for this update. I hope that you're all doing well and taking care of yourself. Uh, take care of your health. Make sure that you drink some water and take your meds <laughs> and your vitamins. Um, I will see you all very soon, hopefully in mid-October for another update and hopefully I'll show you a finished sweater by that time. <laughs> we'll see. Take care and stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everybody.